Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and um, today we're going to be making a card using the Snowflake Showcase um, exclusive products. This is a product that is going to be available for purchase November 1st through the 30th, or while supplies last. Um, as demonstrators, we got to get it early, of course, but we have two stamp sets, um, really pretty, and then some snowflake trinkets, um, the snowfall thinlet dies, and some white velvet sheets. Um, so if you are looking to get any of that, I would get it as soon as you can order it on, what, Thursday, I think it is? Uh, no, <clears throat> yeah, Thursday, because Halloween is Wednesday. Um, and this, ha they have 20 dies in here. And then here are the stamp sets. There's 14 stamps in each set. And then you get the snowflake flake trinkets and there are 20 in here and to me it looks like there are maybe two two different ones i think there's two different ones in here so you most likely get 10 of each all right and then you get the velvet paper which you're not going to be able to see on camera because it's just white paper but it has a velvet finish and you can stamp on it so that's really cool um one of the ladies on my team she stamped one of the um little penguins from the um light bulb set it was so cute um so yeah if you want any of those products uh november 1st through the 30th or while supplies last all right, so let's go ahead and um, start this project here. It's nice and sparkly. Um, this is using Balmy Blue, which I have not used before. And I really like it. It's lighter than a Marina Mist, um, but I like it a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so you're going to need a piece of the Whisper White. sorry about that okay so this is a piece of thick whisper whisper white and it measures eight and a half by five and a half and it has been scored at four and a quarter so I'm just going to fold that use my bone folder to make sure I get a good crease on there then I have a piece of balmy blue and this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm not going to do anything with that, so I can go ahead and adhere it to the front of my card base here. And this is just going to leave a 16th inch border on all four sides. Just a very faint border. Okay. All right. There is that. The next piece that I need is a piece of Whisper White that measures four by five and a quarter. And what I'm going to do with this. This is just one of our pieces of the new grid paper, paper that we have for our Stamparatus. It just comes like this. And you can put this into your Stamparatus so that you don't get it all um, inky when you're using it. Okay, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the snow. Their little dots look like snowflakes from the Snow is Glistening. It's this one right here. I'm going to be using this one, this one, 
sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season and then a Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world for the inside. All right, so I have my balmy blue here and I'm going to be stamping off. So I'm just gonna ink this up, stamp off and stamp on. I'm gonna give my uh, paper, or you wanna twist either your paper or your stamp so that it's not the same all the way around. Oop, I forgot to stamp off on that one. Rotate, stamp off, and then stamp on your paper. All right. All right, I'm going to be using this again, but I'm going to close it up for the moment. All right, then I'm going to take this piece here, and I'm going to use my uh, Big Shot platform, one cutting, both of my cutting pads. I'm going to bring in the softly falling embossing folder just for a little more texture. Um, you can either, you know, not a lot of texture or, or a little texture. It just depends on what you want to go for. So I'm just going to put this in here like this. Between both of the cutting pads or the yeah, I guess they're cutting pads. Run it through my big shot. All right. And then that just gives it some more fun texture on your card. Looks like some more snowflakes. All right. So then this can go just right on top of your card here. And I'm using the wet glue so that I can wiggle it around and try and get an even border on all four sides here as best I can. All right, doesn't look too bad. So that just goes down like this. All right, now I need a just a scrap of Whisper White, just the regular Whisper White. And I'm gonna bring in my Stamparatus. Okay, and I have it already all set up. I have my stamp on here. I've got my paper on here my grid paper for my Stamparatus. I'm just gonna put this in here like this. Put my magnet down. Uh, I'm gonna get my balmy blue again. And I'm using my Stamparatus just in case I need to do a second inking. I didn't the first time. And I don't think I'm going to have to do it again. Nope, looks perfect. All right, but just in case I did, that's why I used my Stamparatus. And then I'm gonna take my chamois here, my Simply Chamois, and just clean that off. So I don't get ink all over the place. All right. So then that is done. I just have a scrap of Whisper White and this measures seven eighths of an inch by about three and an eighth. Now I'm gonna be cutting it off a little bit 
I'm going to use the sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season on here. And I'm just going to try and stamp this in the middle here. All right, wonderful. And I'll use it one more time um, for on the inside of the card, but I'll leave that for a minute. So I'm just going to wipe this off. And I'm going to wipe this one off. Just make sure that I don't get ink all over. Now I'm going to take my triple banner punch and I'm just going to flag both of the ends here. Kind of see where my sentiment starts. Give it a punch and then the same thing on this side where it ends. Give it a punch. Okay, there we go. All right. So there is my sentiment. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to give it a little curl in the middle and a little turn it around, get a little bow curl on the ends. All right. And Let's take this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my trimmer. And I'm going to make sure that the inking is right at the edge of this track here. The image, the stamped image is right at the end of, of the track right there. And that's going to give me a good border. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Make sure that the stamped image is right at the edge, right here. Right here. Right at the edge of here. And then just cut that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, there you go. Now you could fussy cut that if you wanted to. It's just as easy though to do it just like that. And then you have a even border for the tree on all the sides. All right, for the trunk of the tree, it's in the same stamp set. I'm going to be using my soft suede. And I'm just gonna ink, or ink that up. Use this scrap right here, whoops. Try it again, make sure I got it all inked up. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that was soft suede. And I'm just gonna clean that off. Otherwise I stick my sleeves in it. All right, then I'm gonna take my paper snips going to do is just cut this out, just fussy cut this out. And just leave as much or as little border as you want to. There we go, right there. And then here is our tree. Is my card where is my card right here all right so I'm just going to put this down here so 
so that I can kind of gauge where I want this. I'm going to take my dimensionals I'm going to put one of the mini dimensionals right up at the top we got a mini dimensional backing stuck on the back there <laughs> And then I'm just going to use my regular dimensionals, dimensionals on the rest of the tree. Okay. Just like that. Maybe I'll put another one up here. Really, I don't think need to have this many dimensionals, but why not? All right, that one goes there. Pick these backs off. All right, so then this can go right about here. tree stand. I'm going to use a mini dimensional on that also. And then I'm just going to put that right down here in the middle. Okay. garbage out of here. All right, and then our sentiment. I'm going to take some of our silver tramp thread, silver thread, and I'm just going to wind that around three of my fingers. Two, three, four, five. Oh, six times is good. over and I'm just going to put a little snail in the middle here. Just to hold my thread. Alright, and then I'm just going to kind of push it in there. But I don't want the ends showing so I'm going to Push the ends onto the snail here. And then on this side, the right side, I'm going to take a regular dimensional and I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to take some of my Tombow and I'll put that over here because that's going to hang just on the tree, just a tad. where I want it. Right there. All right. I'm going to let that dry with that little bit of glue there. Now I have some of our, it used to be called Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. Now it's just Glimmer Paper. Look at how sparkly that is. And it's much thinner. Um, and it doesn't like, the glitter does not come off of it. So I am going to bring in my Big Shot again with my magnetic platform this time. I'm going to take three of the snowflakes from the Snowfall framelit or thinlets. Let's see. So that one and this one. 
and I believe it was this one. Okay. There's quite a few different ones in there, so you just pick out the ones that you want. And then I'm just going to roll this through and then roll it back a couple of times. And this usually does the trick. need to get the little poke there. Put these over here for now. This is, I think this is a different one. I used a different one. I like that one. That one. And then I need to poke the little holes right here. All right, so those three. Bring my card back in. I'm going to put a few drops of glue just on the snowflakes that I'm putting them right over some of the existing snowflakes. So I'm going to put this one here. And I'll put this one here. This one right up here. All right. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take some of our rhinestones. I'm going to use the medium sized one on this large flower or snowflake right here. And then two of the smaller ones on these smaller snowflakes. That one hasn't dried yet. And if it doesn't dry, use glue dots. Just wad them up and use a glue dot. That will work even better. All right, then I'm gonna take our inside sentiment. I'm gonna ink that up again in our balmy blue. is it for this snowflake card. I think it's really pretty. Love all the bling on it. So here's that one. And here is this one. Okay. So as of November 1st, this will be available for purchase. Um, everything else is available at my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Here is my October host code. Everybody that places an order with me this month is going to get a new package of rhinestone basic jewels. A um, couple days left to do that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.